Good morning. I want to start this vlog right here. It is a Saturday morning, 10.50. Guys, I already did a handful of things since 7 o'clock this morning. And it is a Saturday. Saturday. Anyways, I need to hurry up and get this um, going. I just went to the dentist. My teeth is perfect. I'm so mad I got two cavities. Like, where? Where? From what? Like, when I tell y'all I've been taking extra care of my teeth because I had to get, like, what? Two, three root canals and, like, ten cavities taken care of almost a year and a half ago. Because I left my braces on for years, unkept. Huh, this is irritating. So I asked him what I did wrong. And he was like, sometimes it's not necessarily what you're doing wrong. It's just sometimes it can also be genetics. But he said that my teeth look good. We caught them early. So we could just do a little few little fill, two fillings. And um, honestly, I'm just going to up my game. So I already floss and brush my teeth at nighttime. But it's not like... I guess as much as I should be. So that's just what we're gonna do. We're gonna have that up. Fast forward, I left the dentist. Now it's 10.50. I plan to go to the gym now. Um, the class, it's called a BBL class. So basically you work in your gluts and your butts to make it bigger, you know, BYOB, but your own booty. And that's what we're doing. That class starts at 12. I am hungry. I am, dang, that just turned red to green so fast. I'm really hungry, so I decided to stop by my local Audis because it's like three minutes away, and we're gonna make us a smoothie. So I found this smoothie on Lemonade. It is banana, cocoa powder, nuts. I ain't never put nuts in my smoothie before, but this is gonna be new. And what else I got? Milk. And I got some honey just in case I need some sweetener. But we're gonna eat that um, before we go, and then I'll probably get me some lunch. Or maybe make a salad when I get back home. Okay, y'all. So, we home. We about to make this smoothie. So, I picked up some cocoa powder. This is cocoa bacon cocoa powder. So, and it's unsweet. And so, I hope, I hope this is, like, still regular cocoa powder. And I don't have to, like, cook it. So, I have my oatmeal in there already. And then I'm about to put, like, maybe two big spoons of cocoa powder. And then we're going to put some nuts in there. I had never put nuts in my smoothies before, so that's what we're about to do. Cut some bananas in there, and then I'll come back on camera and show y'all how it is. Because we're running out of time. It's 11.10, and I still got to go put on my workout gear, drink this, and pump. Which I'm probably going to pump while I'm driving. Oh, by the way, this is by Sympathy Nature from Audis. This has raw almonds, pecans, pistachios, and kernels, which I like all of those. Oh, and milk. Yeah, and milk. <gasps> it's actually good. You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of that one drink they sell, and one smoothie they sell at Core Life. It tastes just like this. Cocoa powder, banana, oatmeal, and something else. I'm about to say, it, is that oatmeal? It's, oh, it's, no, what you're chewing on is peanuts. Oh, peanuts. Peanuts and ice. It's actually really good. To me, that's because I've had a drink oh, okay. very similar to this. At Core Life, you go to Core? No, I'm used to protein shake. This is a protein shake. Natural. It tastes like a protein shake. Mm -hmm. so. so, I got to hurry up. I'm about to go put some clothes on. I gotta give her some workout clothes and I need to wash my pumps. Okay, so I didn't feel like super sleek and pressing my hair. So I just decided to take that head and I also wanted the headband off, so I decided to take that off and just do some edges. So let me show you guys what the fit is looking like. I hope I can show y'all. Okay. So Gymshark, all the whole outfit, and then I have this. I got my brother over, so he like tip like messing up my whole house right now. Yeah, I gotta like clean my whole. Don't ask me to cut nothing out. What me? Yeah. Okay. They seen my little tiki tot dance. Girl, move. So. <clears throat> I got this jacket too. It's not that cold outside or like at all. I got on leggings. So I got on these. 
I'm currently 160. I mean, no, oh no, I'm not. I lost six pounds. Not nah, Jay. So I was 165. I was 159, 158. I'm somewhere around there. I still got a lot of ways to go, but I have on a waist trainer. And then I got my tennis shoes in there. And then we're going to put this on. Actually, we're going to put this on now. And then it's 11.39. I got to hurry up and wash these breast pumps. Because I can't work out in a full. Like, I can't. They hurt too bad. So, this is what this is looking like. And I got, I need to go to the grocery store. So, it's the weekend. You guys already know. I grocery shop for the whole week. Because I personally, I after going to work, picking up Caden, coming home to do all of that or shop every day for the dinner, it's just too much. So this is what we were on today. I got this from TJ, no, from Target. This was in the last vlog. I like why my purse is like this. I might get a hat. I might not. I don't know. I think I'm going to just bring, I am. I'm definitely going to get a hat. All right. Toodaloo. We'll see you at the gym. somewhere slowly but we're getting somewhere <laughs> it's bigger than it was it's bigger than it's been if you got it flown it girl you know you want it watch me turn around and then I got it all. <laughs> uh, that class worked my butt I feel Man, like I, I feel like, like he came over and started touching me <laughs> I feel like I already got a butt and I didn't got a butt off that one hour class. But um, I can't go home and make no salad. I am starving now. Like, I went home and I made me a smoothie. That's all I had. I'm hungry. So I'm about to go to my favorite salad spot. I don't even think it's a salad spot. I think it's like a... Cool Life is most definitely a salad spot. It's not. It's called something. It's Cool Life Eatery, but it's called something else. But... I'm hungry. We about to go get. We about to go to court life. I can't go home and make nothing. I don't. I ain't got. I ain't got the time. I need something made in front of me. And I need it now. I need it now. It's a side. Counting in as a. A topping. I'm sorry. Like if I was to get a side or something, is that the like counting uh, as a? Yes. Anything extra is gonna be fifty cents. Okay. I don't care. I don't care. Go ahead. <laughs> Black. See, another Mazda. Oh, can y'all see me? This is the part of the video everyone has been waiting on. Let me get my cover because uh, this is not going to be a short video. Okay, so... This video is going to be broken up into, hold on. Okay, so this video is going to be broken up into five parts. And I have all of my notes and the titles um, written down. And I think I got to figure it out. I'm going to separate I'm going to separate it into the five parts just in case you wanted to skip to it. Or just to see what the five parts is. But guys, this is the breakdown of how I quit my 9 to 5 to become full-time entrepreneur and then back to a nine to five and you guys are like probably like what happened i hope you guys took a chance to like scroll through some of my videos if you haven't pause here pause here go back look at some of my older videos and then come back and then this is just a story this is just a timeline of what has happened why it happened and just kind of answering some of those questions i made those videos i think almost two years ago and i left a doormat for when i was ready to come back and have this conversation with you guys for those of you click on this video and it's like i have no idea who you are who are you what do you do my name is Najee. i'm a 26 year old ex-retired makeup artist and i am currently making videos 
showing you guys my journey get showing you guys how I'm getting back into the role of entrepreneurship so if we can just backtrack and explain where my channel is right now my channel has been through so many different phases right now and right now my channel is in the phase of showing you guys how I'm getting back to the entrepreneur world just to give you guys a little backstory before we I, I might as well say this is six parts because this is the introduction right here before I actually start to explain who I am, what I do, and what this channel is about right now. So my channel was created back in 2016 and I've always had a love of makeup. So I started my channel based on makeup. I started doing makeup tutorials, um, just showing random things and then I wanted to then I wanted to show just a little bit of lifestyle. Now before lifestyle videos was popular that's exactly what I was doing, just creating regular vlogs. Um, I had did a vlog and I remember during COVID, I don't know if it was 2020 or 21, where I was just, you know, I had got my, my parents had given me an office and I was, you know, fixing that up to create a lot of my products out of it. So I made a lot of my products. I sold lip gloss, I sold eventually body butters. I sold eyeshadow palettes. Um, I was kind of, I was basically building my makeup brand. And instead of sticking to one thing, which was a mistake we'll talk about in probably another video in the future, I was targeting all of it. I wanted a <clears throat> all over makeup brand. I wanted to sell everything from foundation to concealers, which I never got to that yet because I wanted to be precise when I got to that. But um, I sold, uh, I, I was getting into blush, lip glosses, liquid MAC lipsticks, eyeshadows, lashes. I sold all of that. And then I was taking on makeup clients and, and servicing them also. So that happened a, a, later down the line. But that's eventually what I started vlogging on my channel. And, and also around that time, I wanted to share different makeup, makeup tips. Or uh, reviewing different makeup products and then I wanted to share business tips which that I probably wasn't really made clear at all on my channel because I was still struggling with business tips as well you know I kind of was just doing everything by what I see or what I picked up or learned I'm a very quick learner so anything I learned and it worked for me or if I understood it very well I wanted to tell someone else. I'm very quick to, oh, I learned this. Let me tell you how I did this. Let me tell you how I do this. And so, you know, and I never did eventually get to those business tips on my YouTube channel simply because I felt like I wasn't qualified. During that time, I was struggling with going back to school, uh, taking different classes or courses. And, you know, guys, now as we live in a totally different world now. I could take makeup. I, I could take classes or courses from someone who ain't never been in college. Like, the world is just very different now. Very different. But again, I'm telling you guys all of this to happen before 2020. And 2020, I believe, was just a marker, uh, a marker of change for a lot of things. A lot of things. That is no longer a standard to have a degree, to have a master's, to learn from someone anymore. But anyway, somewhere around that time, I was struggling with that also. Um, so that's kind of where my channel has been. I am currently, you know, reconstructing my channel as we speak. But I am no longer going to waste time. As in, I'm not going to record. I'm not going to do this until I have it all together. I just said, you know what, let me take out my camera. And you guys are going to watch me in the process. I feel like I'm sinking. <laughs> You guys are just going to watch me in the process. You guys are just going to watch me as I start and redo all these, uh, redo entrepreneurship and just keep moving forward. Um, before I move forward, I want to read to you guys the definition of what entrepreneur is. Just in case anyone have any questions. Because my videos that I'm also currently making, I forgot. I didn't forget, but I want to make sure I tell you guys where my channel is headed now. But, um... I want to be really raw and relatable because someone might be in my very same shoes at this moment 
or maybe in the future you might might be watching this months from the time that I post it it is currently March 17th but I want to be <clears throat> relatable because there's not many people out there that I see that's actually I don't see anyone doing what I'm doing at this moment I am um, simply I just cut on the camera and I'm like you know what you guys are just gonna watch my struggle right now and <clears throat> I know I am a natural born leader. I am destined to be an entrepreneur of some sort. So I'm like, you know what? We're not about to waste time. We're just about to cut on the camera. You guys are gonna watch me as we go. So let me look up the definition of entrepreneur real quick. And I have no idea why. I just feel led to look that up. Entrepreneur. It says a person who organizes and operates a business or businesses taking on greater than normal financial risk in order to do so. Simple definition of entrepreneur. An entrepreneur is someone who starts or owns a business. Whether it's in farming, retail, manufacturing, or in the service sector, entrepreneurs are business people who find their success by taking risk. And I would definitely say that's me. I am a risk taker. I am not afraid to take risks. I'm not afraid to fall. I am okay to start over and over and over and over, which honestly, that's kind of what I'm doing. I'm starting over from scratch. Um. So... Let's see. I don't want to keep jumping. This is why I make notes. Let me finish explaining to you guys who I am. So that's going back. That's who I am. I, I did makeup. I was always in the beauty industry. Oh, matter of fact, that goes into my first tip. So let me back up. Um, Since we're still in the intro portion. My channel right now is showing you guys how I'm getting back into the role of entrepreneur. Shit, I do not fully know where I'm at. If I had a model that I could visually present to you guys, I would it would be like a timeline. And it would have it would be where I start and it would be the finish line. And then here's the progress. A lot of people have already started. Excuse me. A lot of people are in the progress. A lot of people are in this middle section right here getting to their end getting to the end goal where i'm at i'm right here i'm at the very very start meaning i am coming from a place of dorm dormancy i think that's how you say it i'm coming from a place of not doing anything of being completely drained of all ambition of wanting to do anything i am now at a place where i have my my push, I have my ambition back, I have my passion back. And then I'm like, okay, now I know where to start. I'm literally at square one. And I was just watching this video where this woman had worked out really good. And then she gained it all back. And then she had said that she had started from square one. And the guy had, you know, stitched it and was like, I'm going to tell you, no, you're not at square one because you did it before. Now you know that. You now you know the steps that you need to do not to fall back in this and that and third. So yes, I, some people may look at it as I'm at square one, but I look at it as if I did it again, I could do it before, but I can do it better. Why? Because I, one, I did it before, I have made mistakes. I know what mistakes not to make anymore. And all we're gonna do, now we know how to dodge those footholds. Now we know how to dodge those holes to get to where we need to go. So that's kind of where I'm at. All right, let's get started now because we have five parts of this video, five parts of this, how did I start my nine to five job? I'm sorry, how did I quit my nine to five? How I went full time into entrepreneur and then I ended up closing down and starting my nine to five again. We wanna know what happened. Here it is. Since I was a little girl, I was always into makeup and my mom encouraged I did not have to, she always encouraged that you do not have to go to college in order to make a lot of money is not the end goal there's always other options so she always encouraged that and with that I decided you know what she she said why not create a job out of something you love and at that time it was makeup I loved makeup actually at that time it was nails because I used to do nails um as a little girl now I never pursued a career in it I, and even so I do my own like these are gelics I used to do acrylics on my own I used to do designs I used to take clients as a kid as a kid but um, I never pursued um, a career, but it, that's just where it started. Pretty soon, 
after that, I started getting into hair. I started doing hair, my cousin's hair, my aunt's hair. I did my family's hair. After that, um, I started finding an interest in makeup. It wasn't until, my, so my parents are pastors. It wasn't until my mom brought a Mary Kay specialist, not specialist, a Mary Kay representative, and she came to the church, and she just broke down everything that it came to makeup. And as a little girl, I think I was like 16, 17 years old, I was still in school, I was like, oh, wow, I really like this. Also, one of my close friends, she was doing makeup. And, you know, we were little girls. Like, it was just, like, maybe very light wing lighter. It wasn't, like, the liquid yet. It was, like, let's say a little eyeshadow. Um, very sheer, uh, sheer shimmer or blush here and there. It was, like, very little. But I liked it. And I wasn't a fast child. My mom said I couldn't get into makeup quite yet. So I just simply waited. I was like, okay, well, we'll just wait my turn. And when my turn came... I ended up being really good at it really good at it so I started off doing it on myself and that's actually where my YouTube channel came from I was doing my you I started my YouTube channel in the back hallway next to the trash can recording on this white wall in my mom's house that's where everything started at and I was very consistent at doing makeup and eventually I got really good at it I mean, I think I might leave some of my old videos because I'm still in the process of arch archiving my videos on my YouTube channel because, guys, my laptop broke. So I don't really know how to, like, do all of them or delete all of my things at one time. I don't want to delete them. I just want to archive it. So that's kind of where that started. And then eventually when I graduated high school, instead of going to college, I waited a little bit. I worked. I think I worked at Wendy's. No, was it Wendy's? No, I was working at JCPenney for some time and then I worked at Wendy's when I started going to cosmetology. I went to Brown Aveda. I'm a graduate of Brown Aveda. I think 2018. Yeah, 2018. Um, around February or something like that. I went to Columbus because I'm, I'm located in Ohio. Yes, I got my license. I got all of that. But um, in cosmetology, I got my license in hair, skin, and makeup. They have what was called an advanced license. I don't know what it has changed to now. I don't know. But um, I got a, I went for advanced where I was licensed in all of it. After that, I was then able to work in a, work in a salon. After I worked in a salon, um, I didn't like it the best, probably because they didn't cater to the things that I wanted to cater to. I wanted to get into more sew-ins. I wanted to learn how to braid. And honestly, I did not have the funds to get additional training. At that time, my father, I remember my father lost his job um, around that time. So I was working and going to school and helping paying the bills at my, my house at the same time. It was rough and it was very depressing. I was I was working a lot. And I think during that time also is one of the major times that I stopped um I stopped doing YouTube because it was just a lot. I, I can just give you guys an idea of what that was looking like. It is 2024 now, guys. So that that was in 28 actually and it took two years because I, I paused and then I went back. So uh, did I start? I did start in 2016, but I started later. So I graduated in 2016 from high school, and then I waited a few months. I didn't start in the summer with everyone else. I started in the fall. So I started somewhere around September, October, somewhere around there. I think it was October. Yeah, so I started in 2016, and I took a few months off, and then I started it again back in 2018. Uh, Actually, I don't know when I started back again, but I took some time off and then I started back up and I graduated in 2018. It should have only took a year and a few months, but you know, stuff happened. I really don't even remember, honestly. I, I, I know I took a break. I don't remember why at all, but I know I started back up, got, fin got finished, got my license, went in the salon, so on and so forth. But anyways, around that time, um... My dad had lost his job. I was doing all of that. The hours was looking like, let's see if I can remember. I had to go to school. I had to be at school at eight o'clock. 
I lived on the west side and my school was in Strongsville. So it was somewhere around 15 to 20 minutes. I think it was like about, yeah, about 15, 17 minutes. And at that time, my cousin worked, you know, a few minutes from my school, but she passed my school. So to help my mom out, I would get up. I think I would, I would be ready by 7 o'clock because that's when she had to be to work like a few minutes before me, before I had to go to school. Uh, guys, I, I'm starting to like forget. I do not know. I do not remember. But I remember having to get up just a, a lot earlier than I had to because she was, she was my ride. So let's just say my day started around seven o'clock and I would literally wait at school or sleep. I remember I would be sleeping in the, the lunchroom waiting for school to start or waiting to clock in because it, we didn't get paid, but we did have to clock in. If you didn't, my school was very strict, very strict. You would not get your time, you would get sent home. And after so many times you'll get kicked out. So she would drop me off, um, I'll wait there and then I would get out of school around five o'clock. So think of it like a regular job, around seven to five. Well, I did that and then after that, my mom would pick me up and I would go straight to work, which was Wendy's. And at that time, I got paid $8.15 or $8.50. Now that I think about it, that was crazy. Crazy. Getting paid that in 2017, 2018 was still crazy. Anyways, um, I will work there and my brother was the manager. So I worked there until about maybe nine, 10 o'clock and then my mom would pick me up and guys, that would be my whole day. And it was so depressing for me because I won, I, I don't know why I didn't, but I didn't make lunches. So I was always spending, my money was always being spent on food, first of all, or um, after work, I'm sorry, after work, after school, I would go to Wendy's and I would eat whatever food was there. So you can only imagine the amount of, I didn't pack, actually now that I think about it, I didn't gain too much weight. But I did not gain a lot of weight, but I was very unhealthy. And I was tired all the time. And now looking at myself and my health journey that I am in now, food for me and my body, food changes the way I feel. I get tired easily. I get, um, I get winded really quick. So now looking back, now I see kind of where that was contributed to. And then also I didn't have a car. So that was also very depressing because the, the girls that I went to school with, they all, um, they were more preppy girls. They had money as in like they were spending a grand or two out of pocket to pay for school. Like, and here I am making $8.75. Also, they were bartenders and all of that, uh, waitresses, they worked at restaurants. So around that time, they were making a lot of money with tips and whatever else they were doing. I don't know. I didn't know where their money was coming from. It was just kind of like, it was just shocking. I had just came out of high school, so I was the only one that was like around 18, 19 years old. Everyone else was maybe 23, 24, 26. They were young, everyone was in their 20s, but like still, I was the only one fresh out of college, fresh out of high school. Um, So that was also like very depressing for me because I didn't have a car. Everyone went and they would go to the restaurants, they would get different coffee drinks, their nails was always done, their hair was always done, their clothes, their shoes looked really nice, and meanwhile me, I couldn't get any of those things. I did the best that I could. That's also kind of where like my upgrade and my hair came from because I was very, I wanted to learn how to do my hair. I couldn't pay to go get it done, so I just learned how to do my hair. I couldn't pay to get my nails done, so I learned how to do my nails. So I think that was just a lifesaver and I guess quote unquote fitting in. I never tried to fit in, but I guess I personally wanted to look good and feel good about myself. And it, it I didn't because I, I didn't have the money for the upkeep like everyone else did. So I didn't get sad. I just, I'm a very high spirited person. I just learned how to do it myself and we just kept going. The only thing I did get sad about 
or it's just not having a car, which eventually God blessed me with. So thank God. Um, so that was a lot. That's how we got started. Let's move on. Actually, before I move on, let's fast forward um, to the salon that was that I was in. So let's go back a little bit. The salon, because we're moving forward to how I quit my job now. Okay, so I had quit JCPenney. I started working at Wendy's because also towards the end of my school, well, I forgot what it was called, but you were able to graduate early. After completing so many hours, you were able to graduate early. Uh, so I entered a program where on certain days, Wednesdays and Tuesdays and Thursdays, I think it was, I was able to stay to 8 o'clock. Now, mind you, 7 to 8 o'clock at night. Then after that, I worked my Wendy's job from 9 o'clock to 2 o'clock in the morning. That's when things started getting rough. I was just, I was crawling to the finish line. I told myself I would never do that again. That was so much for me. And I didn't even have weekends off because it's a, it's a you know, cosmetology. Saturdays was our most busiest days. I had Sundays off, but I don't even remember how Sundays was back then. Oh, I think during that time I had church on Saturdays. So, like, I wasn't even at church. Sundays I was working. Mondays I think I worked because it was just I can work longer hours. But And I worked in the morning. I don't even know how that was. I, I don't remember enough. But the, I, all I know is it was very, very, very taxing on my body. And I told myself I, I would never do that again. It was so hard. It was hard. I was crawling to the finish line. Anyways, I graduated, I got my license, and then right after that, I got a second job. I got a second job working at a salon. Now, I decided to work there with my Wendy's job because I also was getting paid at the salon $9 an hour. Now, also, the salon I was working at, they were... I respect them, but I guess I would definitely say maybe I didn't choose the right salon for me. And it isn't because it was a salon full of, you know, white people. It, I had nothing. It had nothing to do with what the salon, you know, the the race. I mean, sort of. There were a few racial racial things that honestly went over my head it's not until I thought back I was like ah uh, that definitely was like a racist comment but it nothing I wasn't uncomfortable I wasn't fearful it was just now that I'm thinking about it I just don't think it was really the place for me um the salon was also going down it was a very popular salon back in the day but the owner had gotten sick and then eventually passed and they passed the salon on to someone else. And that woman, she was really trying her best to keep the salon afloat. Like, she was trying her best. But I was not getting paid enough. I was not really a reliable source, a, a reliable person either, because she could... I My car kept breaking down. So I had this little red beater. It was a red Honda Coupe. It was a coupe, guys. I can't stand coupes to this day because of that car. But um, I, I liked it at the time. It was my favorite. I have memories of it. Um, but it kept breaking down. Eventually, you know, fast forward, it burnt up on the freeway. But, uh, yeah, I was not reliable because my car kept acting up on me. So that was the issue. And it just, you know, it was a lot of old, older white women with shorter hair they did a lot of roller sets and perm sets and i wanted to get into sew-ins i wanted to get into braids i wanted to get in stuff like that but i i didn't have the opportunity to train get additional training like i wanted to from someone else or to i, I just i didn't have the resources the time or even transformation transformation transportation to do what I wanted to do. So eventually I ended up leaving and then working back at Wendy's full time again. Fast forward after I left Wendy's, I went and I worked at another manufacturing company where I eventually met my husband at. But guys, that's 
a, a story I don't think I'll ever get into because it plays no part in this journey that I am in. But um, from there, after a few years working that job is eventually when I quit my job. All right, so you guys are wondering, okay, why did you quit your job? Did you have everything together? Did you start anything? Like, what did you have? Okay, so during the time I was working this job, I was getting paid. So from getting paid $8 and let's say 50 cents, I eventually started getting paid at this job, I think $13.50. So, 8 to 13, y'all, I felt like I was close to rich. I was touching some money, right? So I was like, okay, we doing something now. Uh, let's, let's, you know, let's, let's start buying things that we want. Now, eventually, uh, my mom, she, I told my mom how I wanted to start lashes. I think that's how that started. I, I don't even know how I started selling lashes. I don't, I don't remember how that started either. But um, that was the very first product of my business and then you guys might know my business is called uh Jaina Pink. Jaina stands for not J. It's just not J flipped around. Not J is my first name in A Z E E. Jaina is Z E N A. So it's Jaina Pink. Pink is a nickname I was called when I was a little girl Pinky. So I was like, you know what, we're gonna make this my name, Jaina Pink. Before it was Jaina Pink it was Amani Shades. It was Amani, which is my middle name, and Shades was just, you know, for makeup. The different shades of makeup. That's where Amani Shades came from. And then um, I started my, I started lashes. I started selling lashes for maybe two years until I progressed on to, what was the very next thing? I think the very next thing, honestly, I think it was Eyeshadow Palace. I think I just went on in there. And that didn't really have too much success either. But I did it. Uh, eventually it was eyeshadow palettes, then lip gloss, then lip liners, and then um, glitters. It, w it was a handful of things after that. And then I started selling everything on my online website. And my only marketing source was Instagram. So that would be the first mistake, which I'll make a mistakes video later. But um, that was the only marketing source that I had. Besides, I think a few pop-up shops I did. And honestly, I think it was at my mom's um, business. Whenever she had her events. Her business is called Bloss. Or She Bloss. Building the woman behind the business. Which is me. <laughs> Building me behind the business. Um, So, that's kind of like what I started selling. Now, when I quit my when I quit my job, <sighs> did I have a plan? No. Did I have a revenue? Did I have income? No, I did not. Did I have a pattern of some sort to say, you know what, this is how I'm gonna sustain myself? Um, you know, month to month. Did I have did I have anything? No, not not at all. Did I have any savings? No. Did I have any sense of money sense? No. Did I have a financial plan, a savings account? Did I have any of that? No, I didn't. I just said, you know what? Let's quit my job. But let me tell you why I quit my job. So around that time, my brother, my brother had, you know, he's a drummer. He's a locally known drummer. And he goes around playing drums for different churches. And um, I think he sold shoes and I don't know what else he did. But that's how he made very good money. He made very good money where he, I think, either replaced or made more money than his actual job. So I was inspired. Also, he moved out on faith and believed God was, like, leading him to do that. So I was like, yeah, yeah, I can do it. I can do it. I'm going to quit my job. So I did. I quit my job I, on May 29th, I think. I think a week or two after my birthday, I quit my job and was like, yeah, we're going to do this. I'm going to move out on faith. Y'all, mm -mm. mm -mm. it didn't last long. It didn't last long at all. Actually, from there, actually, I struggled really bad. I Honestly, I don't even know how I paid for my bills. And honestly, I paid rent at my mom's house. And then I had my car note, which 
uh, now that I'm thinking about it, on a $400 paycheck every week, my expenses were pretty high. I mean, I, I, I would like to say I know a little bit I'm, little bit about money now, but guys, I did it so bad. So bad. I did not move out on faith. I moved out on sheer inspiration, which I'm not going to act like we don't move because we were encouraged by a message or inspired by somebody. But guys, I had no plan. No business plan. I did not write down steps of what I'm going to do. And I did not write out steps of how I'm going to um, carry myself either. So now that I'm looking back, guys, I do not think that was faith that I was moving out on. That was not faith at all. And I would not encourage someone to, to, do, to do it the way I did it. There was a different way. Again, another video. We're going to continue because I do have five parts. But, um... Honestly, I don't even remember how I was sustaining myself. Did I? Let me ask. Bae. Yeah. Were we dating when I quit my job at Arrow? Yeah, man. So, you was carrying my... Was you carrying, like, my car note? Like, was you, like, helping me out with bills then? Or you didn't help me out with bills until after I started my... That shirt looked really nice on you. Can't you sleep? Oh, wow. Sorry, what's the question? I can't remember. So I'm telling them how I quit my job. And remember, I quit my job two weeks after my birthday. It was in June. And, but I didn't open up my kiosk until December. How did I pay my bills in the middle of that? Were we, we were together. We were together. Were you helping me pay my bills? I was carrying the majority of your bills. You carry the majority of my bills. Oh, you were, you were paying my bills during that time? I was paying your bills while you were trying to cover the car. No, before my car. What do you mean before your car? I'm talking about right after I quit my job. I'm trying to remember. I don't even think I. I don't think I remember. Cause remember, I quit my job in June. I didn't open up the cart until December. Did you help me with my bills during that time? So for the first two months. I know I was making some money with clients. The first two months after you quit your job, you had. I had it. You yeah, you had clients, and then it slowed up. Drastically. So I think from I think from the middle of August until when you got your card, I was helping me with like my car note. Yeah, so I think it started off me just helping you with your car note, and then when you got to the mall and the mall fell through, and you was pushing the cart, I was paying everything in the background. Okay. Okay, so that's what happened. Um, you're like, okay, so how did I do it? At that time, were we engaged or I had a boyfriend, which is my husband now. He helped me throughout this entire process. But were we engaged or you was just my boyfriend then? No, I think I was just a boyfriend because I didn't propose until October. Um... Right. Okay. So he was my boyfriend until October. So my boyfriend was helping me pay my bills. He said, um, cause I had to ask him. I, I totally forgot. No, not that hat. A different hat. You don't go. You need a lighter color. Hey, what up for my tan Yeah. All right. Um, so at that time, my husband, Sean, he was my boyfriend. I, cause I wasn't, I didn't get proposed to until that October. He said, I'm glad I'm doing this story now because, y'all, I'm starting to forget. Like, I'm starting to forget. But um, he said that I carried the first two months after. And I actually, now that I remember, I was getting quite a few clients. I was getting enough to pay for my bills. Um, <clears throat> my mom, my parents, they let me pass on a few of my, my, rent, my, my rent portion of the house. They let me pass on that. And then my boyfriend at the time, which is my husband now, he was helping me pay my 
car note, which my car note was 471. I actually had the same car I had until two weeks ago when I got in a car accident at a Mazda 3. I remember I just got my car. So during that time, that time was also rough. I had a lot of clients. I had a, actually a decent amount of clients. It just wasn't enough to live on. I slowed up. I, I guess I hit a slow season. Slow season. Um, or, or when it comes to makeup, you don't really... You got to have a large clientele to sustain yourself. Makeup is a luxury. People don't need makeup done every weekend. I mean, unless you got to like that, but my clients didn't. Makeup you don't need every weekend. You don't need every month. You don't need it every two weeks, every three weeks. Not like you need your nails done. It's not something that you keep up. <coughs> nor, is it a success, nor is it quite a necessity for an everyday <coughs> maintenance not like nails not like waxing not like your hair so when it came to makeup i needed a a lot of clientele so i was doing good with makeup services but i wasn't doing the best with makeup sales because remember at that time i still had my i still had my website i was still make selling and making making makeup products but um that only got me but so far during my free time, I was trying to network. I didn't really know how. So also another. That's also another uh, mistake. I had nothing to fall back on. I had no money in the savings. I had nothing to help me get additional training or to even uh, pay a vendor to set up shop and expose myself. I didn't have any of those things set up. I do remember though. I had took on this really big party for a wedding because I really needed money. It started off to be six and somewhere it got to be around 13 people. And But it was like last minute. So I ended up ha having my friend. She wasn't doing it as a career nor was she thinking it to do it as a career. But um, she came and she helped me as an, as an assistant. And me and her, we bust them out. We bust it out. We did 13 clients. From 7 o'clock in the morning. And I think our last client was at 2. And then we did touch us from there. But I made quite a bit of money there. Where that got me back on my feet. Just probably for another month or so. Until I dipped again. But my boyfriend he held it down. <laughs> he held it down. Because he paid for my car. He paid for my. I mean this was my transportation. I had a home. I was still living with my mom. And at this time. Okay I'm 26 now. I think I was 23. 4. Somewhere around there. I don't know. And, um, yeah, he was just holding it down. He was helping me with all of that. So, that got me to another poor, another month until I, you know, just fell flat again. And honestly, I did not know what to do. I wasn't even surrounded around people that could help me grow. Like, I, I, I wasn't surrounded around people bigger than me. And you always need people bigger than you. If you enter a room and you're the biggest person in there, I mean, that's another story for another day. You need people that are bigger than you. I don't care if you are the richest person in the world. You better find someone else. But I needed someone else to learn from and I needed someone close. And I didn't have that. I struggled with confusion. What to do? What am I doing wrong? And I didn't have the money to put in to train classes so I struggled really bad during that time so that's what happened when I quit my job it was a flop it was a flop I had nothing planned I had nothing set in stone moving forward how did I start my kiosk and in other words it's actually called a cart but for a lack of terminology people don't really know when I say cart what that means a kiosk is one of those big areas inside of the mall that you build. You know, like a pagoda in the middle mall or uh, it's, I can't think of any other things. Those jury spots, those big jury spots in the, in the square. Those are kiosks. Someone came from a third party, not the mall, a third party, and they built it inside of the mall. And when you move, you tear it down and you take it with you. Well, I had a cart, a cart that the mall stores in their basement, wherever they store it at, that they brought up 
and they gave to me. I had to dust it off, clean it off, and I decorated it myself. I mean, it's just so bland. But, um, I eventually started that. Now, you may think, how did you start a kiosk? You were already struggling with what money did you start? This card took $5,000 to start. No, that money did not come from me at all. It came from my dearest boyfriend. At that time, he is now my fiance. He helped me get started with that. Now what happened was there was some type of um, lawsuit or something that happened with our job that we had worked at where he had received a large amount of money from and he took that money and he gave it to me to start my kiosk now or start my cart now when i started this cart again five thousand dollars still wasn't even enough thank god for it i thank god for the experience but um i was just barely making it and i had i think that i vlogged the whole process i think i did i think it's somewhere on my my uh I think that's somewhere on my YouTube channel. That's why I said I'm going to keep some of these videos. Just because even though like my videos and my content was kind of like all over the place. Now that I have a strategic plan on how my content is going to be created. You guys can just go back to some of these videos and just look at what I'm talking about. That's why I told you guys in the beginning, pause, go look at some of those videos, not come back. So I started that um, and then I wanted to open up in December or to start somewhere around the holidays because, oh, actually I think I started in November because I was, I was there during Black Friday because I wanted to catch the crowd. I wanted to be a new store you know, just open and I wanted to catch the crowd. <laughs> um, give me your body butter, because I see you guys have some body butter, so I see you like that. <laughs> so I want to show you some of these first. My popular one is mango right now. I'm sorry, I'm staying. I got braces. Ew. Um, my popular one is mango right now. I just came out with this about two to three weeks ago. I got him to smell that. Do you like that? Yours, I can. That's pretty good. So I got that one. I got a um, peppermint one infused with, you know, peppermint oil. Do you like the smell of shea butter? Yeah, kind of. I really don't. I like, oh, look at this. Guys, there are so many mistakes, like, during this process. Because even then, I was not fully prepared. One, I was overwhelmed. I would definitely say, during this time, my confidence was beat like a mother freaker. I am a very confident person and you know business interactions with people you know being just people being just flat out raw saying no they don't want to try my stuff or they don't like it or just being real raw in, in those sense it really started tearing at my confidence it made me start questioning a lot of things. So that was really rough. I don't know how to panic. Matter of fact, I cried. I did. I cried. I cried in the parking lot because one, I couldn't get a lot of. I couldn't get a parking space. I couldn't park as close as I wanted to into bringing all of my stuff because it was just so many people. And guys, I'm not a shy person, but I was more. I was more so just nervous because. I want to make this a different video, but I, I broke down. Okay. So I started off with a few things. I don't remember. I'm going to look through some of my videos and then I'll post those clips so you guys can see. 
But I started my cart and it was a rough one around the holidays and then the beginning of the year was even harder. So just to give you guys a little bit, I started off with 5,000. I tapped out on that 5,000 again. Again, I did not have no more money. I zero dollars, zero. It was just me working. Now eventually, when my sister got out of school, she started helping me, but um, she was in school. My mom, she helped me here and there. But it was, it was a lot. And then right after the holidays, when January, February, March came around, those were even tougher because everything slowed down. And I mean drastically. I, it was very hard because normally, this is what I would think now, people will stock up. You got to stock up for the slow months. Let's think about like the winter days, back in the, back in Stone Age days, we got to stock up on food during the summertime for the winter. Well, I had no money saved and I had no money to live off of during those slow months once again. And December, December was the highest paid month because they expect we're going to make more money. They charge me more money. That was the highest month I had to pay $3,000. Somewhere I negotiated to get my rent lowered to $1,000 and eventually I think $800. But um, it was tough. I went from like a six month lease down to three month down to month to month because I wasn't sure if I was even going to be able to stay. Um, I was located in Strongsville. So again, I was like literally 30 seconds from where my school was at, where I went to my school, Brown Nevada. And I would say that's that that whole experience was just rough. I have videos on that on my YouTube channel, so you guys can go look at that. Also, I'll probably go into detail with that later. Also, just because I wanna I wanna get through with the rest of the part. Why did I close down? And it's for obvious reasons. I could not keep up with it for months, and I think I closed eventually around August, September. I think August, no, August, September, somewhere around there. Cause I remember that's when I started working at a school. And that's where I started working. My, I went back to my 95 job after I closed it down. I closed it down because I simply could not afford to pay for it anymore. I went down to eight to eight, $800 a month. I had to pay $800 a month. But guys, if you're only making a 800 or a thousand or not even none, none of that at all, that's a total loss. Um, I also closed down because I was also starting to get embarrassed. Like I feel like also during this time, my Instagram grew a lot. Now I'm talking about my business page, which is no longer active. I currently don't know what to do with it. That's just as simple as that. I don't know what to do with it. Because I'm not, I don't have clients um, like I used to anymore. We'll get into that next. But um, I closed down because I started getting embarrassed. I started getting embarrassed by people in the mall. Um, my cart wasn't being able, wasn't kept up the way I wanted to. I needed new makeup products. And I, I, I couldn't buy the things that I wanted. The, the types of brands, the makeup brands that I wanted to get, I could not get that also. I was using a lot of the drugstore brands, which I know as a makeup artist, I know there's no problem. But after being six, seven years in this business, I just feel like I should have a more upgraded makeup kit. And I did it. And people kept asking me and I just dodged saying I didn't have the money. Because something somewhere wasn't matching up. I did have the clout. I had the praise. I had the recognition. But I didn't have the clientele. How does that make sense? How does, how does everyone know who you are? How does everyone say you are so good. You are just this wonderful person. But your money, it, it, it just ain't matching. It, um, it wasn't making sense to me. And I think that's where I got hurt at. I am not the type of person to be mad at God. But I was definitely like, God, what the heck? 
Like what the, I don't know what I I am asking you. I don't know what to do. I don't. Um, looking at Heinz view, I definitely feel like I have some answers, which I'll probably tell a little bit later. Not in this video, but somewhere down the line. But um it just it made no sense to me. It literally made no sense to me as to why I, you know, I was getting all this recognition, all of this hype, and there was just no income to match it. So pretty soon, me and my husband, we ended up getting married, and we did not have no big wedding. It was just inside of a church, and we came to agreement that we're just going to start from scratch. Uh, we made an agreement that I was going to come out of the mall, and we're just going to like dial it back and see what we're going to do. During that time, we agreed that we was going to stop, get our finance together. I was almost about to lose my car. I was backed up on bills. I got my life together. I got my braces off. I got myself together. And then later on that year, I eventually got pregnant. And I just stopped doing makeup from then. Actually, I said I wasn't going to do it no more. I got pregnant. I stopped doing makeup. A year passed. Another year passes, my baby is almost one now, and now this is where we're at. <laughs> we are, what am I doing now? Okay, what am I doing now? <laughs> I just play it. I ain't about to act like I didn't just disappear for a few days, came back with my hair done. You like, oh girl, you look cute. Oh no, thank you. So guys, I was losing light, and I decided to just come back and make this video on the weekend. So it's currently Saturday. But let's get into it so I can finish making this week's vlog. That's the that's what I'm in the middle of making this week's vlog. So you'll see this hairstyle and my hairstylist actually doing this hairstyle on me in next week's vlog. Okay, so what am I doing now? YouTube. I am being vulnerable and I'm coming out to the public and letting you guys know that I don't know where I'm at right now. I don't know. The direction I have a direction I have an idea but I'm not totally for sure where I'm going right now we are doing YouTube right now I'm telling you guys my story of how I started business how it failed and kind of where I'm going now so I'm documenting my process literally as we speak I'm documenting my process that's what we're doing now I am currently a teacher um, which this will be my last year and then going into this summer um, we'll see. I have a plan for our, uh, YouTube to hopefully take off for me. We're currently at 570 as of March 23rd. We're at 570 subscribers. I am currently using data, using YouTube data to help create my videos to help kind of let me know when I should post, when I shouldn't post you know what content people like more and just help me niche down and organize my YouTube I am taking YouTube serious like a job so I didn't even feel like vlogging today I'm not even gonna lie we go on our trip tomorrow and I'm in the process of cleaning it's currently 404 I have to pack my husband's lunch my baby and my dog is all at my my mother-in-law house and I have to clean my house I got a full clothes vacuum mop sweep so that when we come back the house is clean ready to go for the next upcoming work week and um I told myself you know let's get this out the way I had one more part I had to add to this video and that's what we're doing so we're taking YouTube serious as if it's a job vlogging is a job I am documenting so I was watching uh I think her name is Shay Nicole and she was talking about how <clears throat> um, she was talking about how you guys have different tiers for YouTube. And I've been writing down my different tiers for YouTube, which one of them is lifestyle, beauty, fashion, and um, entrepreneur or business. And we're still kind of we're still kind of figuring out what we're doing, but that's kind of where I'm focusing at. I'm thinking of, you know, getting back another beauty job this summer. Guys, I have no idea, but you guys will see. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm going to talk with you. Now, some things will be discreet as, you know, just private for my own personal life. But 
for the most part, I am going to be open with you guys just in case you guys are like, you know what? I did the same thing. I had a, uh, I quit my job and now I'm going back to my, um, I quit my job. I had to go back to my nine to five job. Now I'm trying to figure out how to go back in. And that is this, that is what I am currently focusing on right now. You guys may ask, okay, so are you doing makeup? Yes, I am doing makeup, but I don't want to go back to doing it the way I was doing it before. I don't want to take 10, 20 clients in a day. Do I want to sweet? Yes, I want to sweet. But I don't know. Things are going to be a little different. I'm trying to, you know, you know, maybe I might uh, get my license in um, lashes again. Might do lash extensions. I might include that and I don't know we're just we're gonna see what we're we're, we're we're gonna see you guys are going I'm gonna take you guys on the I'm gonna take you guys along with me because I now have an idea I'm not completely lost I'm not like at ground zero let's go from one to ten I'm at 1.5 I have an idea I've started something I'm doing something now and what I'm doing is I'm being consistent and taking YouTube serious right now. I'm now in a position where my husband is like, you don't have to work. Stay home with Caden and, you know, figure out what you want to do. And he can hold it down for me. So that's what we're doing right now. And um, this is just a video that explains it. You guys will see, you know, along the way what it's looking like. And I really hope you guys can learn, relate and all of the above with my experience right now. I just know there's someone out there that's like, you know, struggling on how to get back and you're not alone. Uh, you have many people out there just like me, just like you. And this may just be the first video you see. I don't know, I haven't seen anyone make videos like this either yet, so we'll see. But we're gonna end this vlog here and uh, put your notifications on so you guys can see this week's vlog. Which, this week is going to be all week. Because me and my husband is going out of town. So, you guys will see a little bit of everything. So, toodaloo and I'll see you guys in the next video.